5, The Rise of Christianity. So uh, at the end of the last lesson, we left off with the, resurre sorry, the resurrection of Jesus. And so in the Gospels, it talks about how uh, Jesus resurrected from the death three days after being crucified. And then he met with his disciples and some people afterwards. And he eventually uh, basically rose up back into heaven. So um, Jesus' disciples began to travel around and spread the message of Jesus and t tell people about his resurrection. And the people who accepted his teachings and believed that he actually did um, resurrect called themselves uh, Christians. Um, and they formed churches and communities, and usually these were home communities. So they were like small gatherings of people within their homes. And they would study the Old Testament, and they would pray and meet with one another. Now, keep in mind, they were studying the Old Testament because the New Testament, right, didn't exist yet. The New Testament is stories that were eventually written about Jesus uh, later on. So that brings us to uh, one of the most important figures in Christianity, um, who is uh, Paul or Saul of Tarsus. So Saul was... Um, a man. So let me, I'm getting a little ahead of ourselves here. So um, the apostles were those, uh, the early Christian leaders who were, were who followed Jesus around when, during his uh, ministry, when he was going around and telling stories and things like that. And so these leaders played an important role in the growth of Christianity, because in many cases, they were the ones who were initially going around and spreading his teachings. Um, after them, the most important person um, is probably Saul of Tarsus or Paul. So Saul of Tar Tarsus was uh, an important person who initially he persecuted the Christians. So he was going around and he was persecuting Christians. And a story in the Bible tells that um, well, when he was out and about persecuting Christians, he saw a, a light that blinded him and he heard the voice from from Jesus to um, basically asking him, why are you persecuting me? And uh, that caused him to uh, believe in Jesus and begin spreading the message of Jesus himself. And following that event where he um, heard the voice of Jesus and he was blind, he was only temporarily blinded, uh, he called himself Paul. So um, you will most often hear Paul, but if you are in the reading, it mentions Saul as well. Saul, Paul, same person. It's just he, after, he basically decided to change his name after uh, believing in Jesus. So, the epistles. The epistles were uh, the uh, letters written by mostly Paul. The vast majority of them were written by Paul, and they are um, parts of the New Testament that, that talk about important Christian teachings. Many of the epistles are actually letters to churches. So um, Paul wrote most of them. And this is, you know, like a picture of white Paul that he wouldn't have looked like that. Clearly he was uh, Middle Eastern. But um, this is probably from like the Renaissance time. That's why he looks like that because they painted him like that. But um, and they wouldn't have had books like this either. You know, they were like scrolls and things. But uh, most of the epistles and a lot of the old, the sorry, the New Testament was written by Paul, and they were letters where Paul was writing to churches um, around the Mediterranean area about things, and he would be resolving conflicts and talking about things that were go that he'd heard about, and uh, so these are kind of where uh, lots of the new um, kind of like teachings within the New Testament come from is from Paul. And he, he would, you know, give advice about how to live a good Christian life and how to treat others. Again, many times um, having to do with what was going on within the churches in the area. So how did Christianity spread a bunch? Um, so one of the reasons that uh, Christianity spread so effectively was because of the Roman Empire. So the Romans at the time and in the whole area, right, they were paving roads. So they had some of the first roads and that 
they had some of the first roads and that made it really easy for the followers of Jesus and these apostles and Paul to travel around a lot easier than in any time in history. And another reason is that the message in general uh, gave meaning to people's lives. It um, A lot of the messages of Jesus, again, you know, kind of if you think back to the previous lessons, they were talking to um, the, the poor, they talked about there was lots of social justice type of issues going on. And so at the time, you know, in Rome, most people are poor, most people don't have much. And so it spoke to them a lot. It also gave them opportunities to uh, be in small groups, right? They had these small communities that they would be together and they would be supporting one another. And here is a photo of um, some of the, these are the, sorry, these are the missionary journeys, as they were called, of Paul, or we, that's what we would call them now. And so you can see how uh, Paul, this is his first journey, was in uh, this whole green area, and so sailing some of it, and then the red was his uh, second journey. And so you can see, actually, how a lot of the places, right, The this orange shading is the spreading of Christianity within the first 300 years or so. And you can see down here is Jerusalem, um, Nazareth. Nazareth is where Jesus was from. And so, you know, Jesus essentially spent most of his life right here, just right down here. But because of the spread of the Roman Empire and, um, you know, trade and all of these things that were relatively new throughout history, uh, the message was able to spread a lot more effectively, really. And you can see how a lot of the areas that spread is on the coast, right? The And this is where cities were. Um, you can recall, like, down uh, Greece, you know, there's cities down here. Um, a lot of them are coastal towns, you know, Rome. So pretty much any time here we have Constantinople, you know, you see these areas where there were at the time um, kind of, like, Back then, you know, even here along the rivers, most of um, civilization was still along coasts or along rivers and things like that because that's where people could get water and that's where people could grow things. And so you can kind of see how that spread naturally in this photo. Um, so another reason about how Christianity spread was partially due to the Romans and how they treated Christians at the time. So, um, early on, the Roman government felt that Christianity was a threat to their power, so they began to persecute and mistreat Christians. We talked about this a little bit when we talked about Rome. Initially, Christianity was made illegal, and uh, Christians in some areas were were killed through their, you know, when they were being persecuted. And all, throughout all this, though, you know, the message of Christianity still held true to a lot of people. And so the message still um, got out there and spread around. And, uh, you know, as, you know, basically as Rome progressed, right, um, there were, all, of course, you know, Romans were growing tired of endless wars. They were constantly at battle with Gaul. I don't want to go back into all the Roman history and stuff, but... You know, they were battling with the Romans and things like that. And so um, over time, you know, even um, not just the poor people, but people within the cities that were more well-educated, they also began to kind of latch on to the teachings of Christianity and believe them. And overall, the persecution of the Christians failed. It didn't, the Romans persecuting Christians didn't make them stop believing what they believed. And eventually, the Roman Emperor Constantine, um, it, it's written by some historians that he became a Christian. That's arguable whether he was a Christian himself. But one of the most important things that he did was that he made it legal to be Christian in the Roman Empire. Um, so some people think that Constantine, it's a, it's a common misconception that Constantine uh, made it the official uh, religion of Rome, and that's not true. He simply made it legal to be Christian 
in the Roman Empire. Later on, it did become the official religion of the Roman Empire, which again contributed to how well it spread. Um, but uh, that made a big difference because now Christians weren't being persecuted, so they didn't really have to like stay in their homes and be quiet as much as either. So that will take us to lesson six.